Hey everybody. Um, I know I'm not a familiar face to pretty much all of you. Um, there may be a few who know me, um, but you may have seen a post that I put up on the group here late night on July 4th, looking to find my long lost childhood best friend, Billy Sullivan. Uh, my name is Jeff Doherty. I'm originally from 319 Oakland Street in Wellesley Hills, um, right next door to your beautiful town of Needham. Um, the town line almost ran right through our yard, so we felt like we were kind of part of Needham. And when I went to visit Billy two doors down, I was in Needham. So, um, but I did put up a post um, late night, July 4th, seeking any information if anybody knew or had heard of uh, my friend Billy Sullivan, who I had not been in contact with for 37 years since I was a, a young boy. So, um, I had searched for him for a long time, but as I'm sure you can understand, the name William or Billy Sullivan in the Boston area with the large Irish population, like a needle in a haystack. So, um, my mother and I were talking in the evening of July 4th and something she said just popped something in my head that said, what if I put something on the Needham group? Maybe somebody's heard of him. Um, and you never know what might happen. You know, it might be something that might even put me on the right track. So, um, so I posted it on the group and boy, did you guys come through. I was blown away with the responses right away. Um, there were, um, so many people who gave information in little bits and pieces. Um, then probably about 45 minutes after my post, um, a post from a wonderful woman who said that Bill was her nephew and that he did work at the post office in uh, Needham, as I had suspected. Um, so that was wonderful. I was like, okay, now I've got one of his family members. Um, then another kind man said, yeah, I work with Bill at the post office. So, okay, now I've got a coworker. So things were really looking good, but at the same time, I didn't want to impose upon people to, you know, to, uh, put me in touch with Bill because nobody knows me. You don't know if I'm really who I say I am and if maybe I'm just some sort of scammer or somebody trying to get a hold of him and because uh, there are so many people out there doing nefarious things. Um, so um, I appreciate the trust that uh, that those people put in me. Um, I gave them my contact information, um, both passed them along to Bill and a lot of people had been saying uh, what a good story this was and how, you know, how great this was. And and uh, they hope that, you know, we, we reunite and uh, to come back and update everybody. And I do apologize. It's taken so long. Uh, it's just been a busy, busy time. I'm on my holidays from work now and birthday was a couple of days ago. So between all these things, it's just been a really, really busy week. Um, and just each night I wanted to sit down and find the time to make a post. Um, but I wanted to do a video so you could all put a face to me and see that I'm genuine and real and my intentions were all genuine and kind of tell you the story. So it's a little more personal than just typing up a post to everybody. So, um, so here I am with the update, um, late night around midnight, July 4th, I put up my post seeking anybody with any information or knowledge of my childhood best friend, Billy Sullivan, who I hadn't seen in 37 years or hadn't I haven't been in contact with in 37 years. Um, I'm 53 now, so, you know, it's, you know, you want to, you want to get in contact with those special people that were part of your life. Um, so, uh, like you say, around midnight, July 4th, I put up the post 36 hours later, my phone was ringing and I pick it up and on the other end, it was Billy. So, uh, uh, sorry, I get a little teary eyed just thinking about it. I'm a very emotional person and that, really, really meant the world to me, um, to be able to, to talk to Bill again. And, uh, you know, he and I are, are, uh, communicating back and forth. Uh, we talked for a little bit on the phone that day. He was at work, so he didn't have a whole lot of time, but we probably spent about 15 or 20 minutes just catching up on a few quick basics. And we've texted several times since then. He did call me for my birthday and I missed it. I was, uh, I was doing something and had, uh, I have a laser, crafting business from home. So, uh, I was running my laser, cutting out some new designs and, and didn't hear my phone. So, um, but he texted me today to let me know that you called and we'll, uh, we'll try to catch up tomorrow. So, but, um, yeah, and we're Facebook friends now, which is great. We can kind of keep up with each other now. So I just, 
want to thank every one of you. Um, to those who know Bill and to those of you who passed my information along to Bill. Um, and to those who just sent positive vibes and were telling, you know, posting what a great story this was. And this is what the internet's for and, and all that good good stuff. Uh, that meant a lot to me. It was nice to know that there were people who were really interested in seeing, you know, two childhood friends, you know, uh, renew their friendship and get back in touch um, after so many years. Um, and I'm happy again to say that 36 hours is all it took and we were talking on the phone. So, um, the power of the internet and uh, Facebook is amazing. And there are wonderful people out there who are there to do good, such as all of you who helped me and did such, such a good thing for me. And I thank you so much. Um, I can never thank you enough for, for putting me back in uh, contact with, uh, with Bill, um, looking forward to the next time I get down home to uh, Boston um, to getting together with Bill and, uh, you know, and, and catching up on, on well, 37 years. So, um, oh, in case I say I get back down on Boston, for those who didn't didn't know, I'm, uh, I live in Prince Edward Island, Canada now. So um, about 650 miles north of Boston, straight up the coast. So beautiful little island up here. If anybody ever wants to come visit, let me know and uh you know so we can actually meet in person and i can say hi so um but yeah so we haven't been down home to boston since before the pandemic and hopefully soon we'll get back down and be able to uh you know to see uh see bill and to uh see the socks at fenway and all that good stuff so um i won't keep it any longer i'm just here getting uh my dogs in the groomer getting a, his uh, haircut so I thought a perfect time where I've got an hour to just sit here and uh, and say hello to everybody and to say thank you properly. So again, thank you so very, very much. It means the world to me. Um, I'm real, I'm not a scammer. I, I thank you all for trusting me um, that, I, that I was who I was and my intentions were genuine and they were, and you guys all came through for me. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. Um, I miss home. Home is where my heart is. It, if you can see here, it may be backwards, but there's my tattoo of Massachusetts and all my Boston teams. And it says forever and always with a little heart. So that's forever and always where my heart will be. Uh, see somewhere right around here where I'm home, where home is. So, um, so uh, thank you again. It means the world to me. And uh, you guys have, have really come through for me. So thank you. I love you all. And I appreciate it. And I wish you all a fantastic weekend. Be safe, uh, enjoy the weather, and uh, have a great summer, and take care. Bye for now.